Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to another boss guy for Lords of the Fallen. Ladies and gentlemen, this time we've got Griefbound Rowena, who is one of these not really difficult, but just more so annoying bosses. They will throw out tons of ice attacks at you to keep you away from them, because really they don't have much HP, so you want to kind of stick onto them like white on rice and constantly be attacking them. But they also summon like 4,000 adds. So yeah, it's more so of an annoying boss as opposed to like an actual challenging boss. Oh, that's unfortunate we got tagged there, so we're going to heal. So yeah, basically you just want to stick onto her like white on rice and never give her a chance to breathe pretty much. We're going to run straight forward and do a charged R2 here to get some good stagger damage. We're going to do another charged R2. If you keep doing charged R2, she is likely to get uh, interrupted, but eventually she will be able to move. We're going to roll through the ice wall. She's going to do three icicle attacks, which is fine. We're going to hit her once. Now you have to look for when she does that because she's going to send out a frontward burst of magic. And then when things appear under her, she is going to teleport away and deal an AoE. So keep that in mind as well. So we're going to... Okay, so now she's going to summon a whole bunch of guys. So we're going to try to deal some damage to her, but obviously we've got these dudes behind us. Yeah, so I stuck into the AoE there, which you do not want to do because it deals massive damage. We're going to roll through the ice wall, see what she does. She's going to do the frontward scream, so we're going to do a whole bunch of R1s on her as she's recovering. We're going to roll the frontward scream as well. Keep in mind all the adds around us. We're going to try to grab our vigor as well, which does not matter. Um, so I don't know why I did that. I'm going to heal here to stay fully healed. You want to stay fully healed because if you get hit by the AoE, you are very likely to die. Uh, so we're going to roll that frontward scream. Now we're going to deal a whole bunch of R1s onto her. You can see her stagger meter is very low. We don't want to be too greedy, though. We got two heals, so I'm going to use one to get back to being full healed here. And let's see where she is. She's still in that corner. So let's see what she's doing. Looks like she just dis she just disappeared. She summoned an ice wall. She's got that barrier. She's going to do three uh, little icicles, which are easy, very easy to dodge. Now we just want to look under her to see. Yep, there it is. So I stuck around in the AoE. But you can always tell because there will be like three little ice veins underneath her. But she's close, so close to dying here. We're going to do a jumping attack. We're going to play it very careful here. She's going to do some icicles, so we're going to try to go for the kill here. I have no idea what just happened, but my dude just stopped attacking. Probably because I got that ice effect where I don't have as much stamina. All right, going to go for the kill here now that her icicles are uh, being shot. And down goes uh, whatever her face is, Rowena. So, yeah, super aggressive fight, obviously. You want to be very, very, very aggressive. You want to stick on to her like white on rice, as I said. Uh, because she will constantly be summoning dudes, and you don't want to go after the dudes. I've tried going after the dudes. It just is not worth it. Um, there's way too many that she'll spawn. Yeah, keep coming, man. Keep coming. Lords of the Fallen, after all. i got to summon like 4,000 enemies. Okay. Uh, another tip is if you go into the Umbral, there are the Umbral Parasites that you can use uh, in order to... Um, uh, create the little ice uh, barriers that she does, the little uh, the little ice like whirlwind things. You can't. Oh my god! I would love to describe this fight, but this is Lords of the Fallen, so we have like a never-ending torrent of enemies. So yeah, if you go into the Umbral, you can see these parasites here, and if you destroy them, they will do these little ice whirlwinds, which can take care of the ads. I found it not even worth it. Because, yeah, it's better just to ignore the ads completely and just go after her as much as you possibly can. But again, she'll do a little Ice Vein attack under her, which lets you know she's about to do a big AoE attack. And then other than that, she's not too difficult. You just got to watch out for that frontward scream because it comes out really fast. And yeah, hopefully this guide helped. Thanks so much for watching. Check out the other guides in the playlist, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.